Hello, and thank you for tuning in. This video is going to be on some minor touch-ups that I did to my Trick or Treat Studios Halloween 2 Michael Myers mask. I hope you enjoy the video, and thank you for watching. So here are some of the materials that I used. Black and brown acrylic paint, liquid latex to mix in the acrylic paint with water, Liquidex varnish matte, and here I am mixing the paints. I mixed one part brown acrylic paint, one part water, and one part liquid latex, mixed it together, and then slowly added black until I got the color that I liked. Now all the painting that I did on this mask was done with dry brushing. Dry brushing is where you dip the brush into the paint and then dry most of the paint off on a paper towel and then work from there. And here I am dry brushing the infamous T on his forehead first. It's kind of hard to see it because the light above me is washing it out. I like to have a lot of light when I'm painting. And now I'm using a quarter inch chip brush to do some dry brushing throughout the mask, mainly on the bottom of the nose and around the forehead and on the lips and around the eyes. And here I'm using a wet paper towel to blend the paint into the rest of the mask. And here I'm going in with the smaller brush to darken up the eyebrows. Now at this point I was realizing that the mask was still a little bit too white for my taste and I wanted it to be a little bit more dingy, so I decided to do a full wash over the whole mask. And here I am watering down the paint mix significantly. Then I take my squirt bottle and water down the whole mask. Then I paint the mix all over the mask. I only did the white part of the mask because the neck was already pretty dingy so I just left it be. Now without letting it fully dry, I took a damp paper towel and wiped it all off. Now you can wipe off as much or as little as you want, and you can do this as many times as you want, just depending upon how dingy you want the mask to be. Now that I got it dinged up enough, I went back in with my paints and did some more around the cross, the bottom of the nose, the eyes, and the lips. And once I got the paint how I wanted it, it was time to go in with the Liquidex Matte Spray Varnish and seal him up. And then came the hair. Now the first thing that I like to do is to brush through it lightly. This will take the poof down if you bought it in a store and it has its hair all sticking straight up. And this will take the crease out of it if you bought it online and it came folded in a bag. I also like to put a slight part to the hair before I start hairspraying it down. Now these Tots masks come with super long hair in the back so I always cut off a little bit of the hair, maybe an inch or two, and then I take shears and shear it down to make it look natural.
And now we're going to take some good old Aquanet hairspray. You can use really any hairspray that you'd like. Just make sure that it's strong hold. And we're going to mat it down to the head and pull out some little wispies. Now, if you're going to display the mask, we need to stuff it with some black plastic trash bags to give it that warlock stretch. If you're going to wear the mask, then hopefully you have a strong Dick Warlock style jawline. Now, a lot of people like to tighten up the back of the neck on the mask. If you're going to be displaying the mask, I always use a paper clip. It's simple, cost effective, and it works. If you're going to be using this mask to wear or for cosplay, a lot of people will use Velcro, attach it to the back of the neck, and then tighten it up that way. And those are the minor adjustments that I made to the mask. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you for watching.